My mom never taught me anything about sex. We never had the sex talk. Just nothing. Not like your mom's supposed to teach you how to finger bang or anything, but like, <laughs> just nothing. Like I was seven years old and I had this little Pomeranian and she broke its leg. And it kept, she kept chewing on the cast. And the vet was like, oh, if you want the dog to stop chewing on the cast, you gotta put a condom on it. But I'm seven years old, I don't know what condoms are. I just thought there were these like fun, colorful things strewn about the house. So I took a bunch to school and I just gave them to all my friends. Dude, we were killing it so hard at recess. Like I put a red one on my arm, my friend put a blue one on his arm. We were having lightsaber fights under the jungle gym. I tried to do the monkey bars, but it was like way too slippery. And then the recess teacher saw me and she comes over and she goes, Grant, why do you have those? And I was like, my mom uses them on the dog. <laughs> So then I had to go live with my grandparents. <laughs> it's like a total different struggle. I miss my mom. I mean, don't get bummed out about it. It was a couple years ago, I've gotten over it. But, I mean, you never get over it. It's a fucked up thing. And this is, it's it kind of, you know, it's coming up on the anniversary. My mom died on April Fool's Day. Do you know how confusing that is? <laughs> to get a phone call from the hospital? Hello, is this Grant Cotter? This is Dr. Dominguez from Sharp Memorial Hospital. Your mother's been admitted. You need to get down here immediately. I was like, fuck you, Brad. And then I hung up. Because I don't trust anybody on April Fool's Day. Do you know what my friends did for me the year before that? They served me with fake paternity papers. They photoshopped paternity papers, put them in a FedEx envelope, and slid them under my door. I opened it up, I see the state of California versus Grant Cotter in the matter of bad child support and unknown paternity. I read those words, I vomited. <laughs> Has literature ever made you vomit before? Have you ever read a word that sent a signal to your brain that made your stomach react in such a way that your body was like, fuck this! <laughs> and it was real, it was sad. I was in the room with her when she passed and that was so difficult. I was coming back from some shows in Arizona and I had like, you know, I had a couple people, the other comics in my car and, and uh, I got a call, like, I have to go to the hospital immediately and then get there. And, uh, after my mom passed, the doctor said, Mr. Cotter, um, what would you like to do with the body? And I was like, well, my car's kind of full right now. <laughs> you guys can do. <laughs> so he gave me the number to this cremation place. And I called the cremation place and they said, hello, thank you for calling American Cremation. How may I help you? And I was like, whoa. Do you guys have any deals or specials going on right now? And then the guy on the phone was like, fuck you, Brad, and hung up on me. 